Obviously, I miss Somo every day. He was my next door neighbor for 20 years. And uh, I'm very much uh, involved in his music also every day. And so I feel like, in a way, he's with us. I think the most incredible thing about this year's uh, Yardside concert is that it's actually happening on the Yardside. Tonight is exactly 17 years uh, since Reb Shlomo was called to upstairs. Although he was always hanging out upstairs while he was here too, so it was like a, just a, another foot in the door. And I think that's when it's making this year, it's taking this year to a completely new level. I think it's great that people come together at least once a year and say, hey, I want to know who was Shlom Kalbach. I want to know. Like all year, there's a lot of minyan, minyanim, and everybody feels, I sing Nusuch Shlomo, and I do the Kalbach. That's fun, and it's, it's yours, you know what I mean? It's yours, it's ours. This night, tonight, we come together, we say, ah, wait, I want to be with Shlomo. I want to be with Shlomo. And everybody is hugging Shlomo and, and become hugging each other in the spirit of Shlomo that I'm supposed to be together. The, the uh, 17 years, if you can't count 17, you're talking about the gematria of Tov. Good. Tov. So, like Shlomo had a number of songs with the word Tov in it, but most important, most important is that uh, he lived Tov. He lived good. He lived good for everybody around, in the, you know, everybody was important to him. And that's, I think, Peter Maizu's Tov. He was the man of Tov. He was, a, he was the doer of Tov. He was the lover of Tov. Of good, so 17 years should be for him. Great tov in his own eternal place up there, and uh, it should be really a nachas ruach to his holy soul. It's an issue of, of, of famous or even popularity. I think that there's an openness in the world to what Shlomo taught that people can now hear and accept. For every Jewish person to love everybody else, for starters. I think uh, not everybody was ready for that in the 60s when we were filling the world with love airwaves. So maybe today. You know, sometimes people teach or say things in their generation, and their generation may not be ready for what they, they really want to teach. I mean, they, uh, they feel very strong in them that Hashem is saying to them, you have to give this up, you have to give this up, but maybe the world isn't always ready for the moment that the person chose to give it over. <laughs> What we miss is, the, is the, the, the personality. We have now the music, obviously, and there are new nigunim coming out all the time, you know. He's the only Rebbe whose uh, nigunim are coming, you know, after his ptira. How, how does that happen, by the way? Listen, the, wherever he went, there was a tape recorder going, 
And um, people uh, hoarded the tapes, and all of a sudden they're coming out of the woodwork. Baruch Hashem, there's new nigunim all the time. I think that up until now the world uh, has been exposed and transformed mainly through the, the world of music which he left and that which we're continuing to find and, and tune into. But uh, now it's already, I feel, Shabbat 17, it's Tov, we're getting ready for Chai. And my Mela Torah, the real, the real Torah, the real Em the Morasha. Torah Tzivalanu Moshe Morasha Kilat Yaakov, the real Morasha, inheritance, is this is Torah. Is his Torah, is his teachings, which that magical way which he was able to take the deepest concepts in the world, which were so embedded within him, and give it to you like on a spoon, like honey on a spoon, like sugar on a spoon. So it just feels that it's the most exciting time in the world because the gates of his Torah, Baruch Hashem, are, are really beginning to spread forth. And we, we were privileged, all of us were privileged this year to begin this project, to begin this journey and share with the world the first of hopefully many, many to come, Perush Evan Shlomo, the stone of Shlomo on the Torah. And it's just the beginning, and Bezat Hashem, we know we have our, our work <laughs> well prepared for us, Bezat Hashem. So we need a lot of koach and a lot of all davening, but it's only going to come out through tefillah.